Number two, be able to identify a graph that represents y as a linear function of x and y not as a linear function of x. We're going to give some examples. So let's draw our xy axis. Put an x and a y. This right here would be a linear function, wouldn't it? Okay. Draw an xy axis again. And I'm going to put lf here for linear function. Draw a horizontal line. A horizontal line is a linear function, isn't it? This would have a slope of zero, right? Draw another xy axis. Draw a vertical line. This right here is not a function, is it? Because the x value is repeating, right? So a horizontal line is a linear function. A vertical line is not a linear function. Okay, and lastly, let's do this. Okay, we're going to get into this later on after Christmas. This is a quadratic function. It is a function, but it's not linear. And it's not linear because there is no constant rate of change. And remember that constant rate of change in a line is called the slope of it. The slope of this curve changes as you go along it. Okay, so this is a function, but it's not linear because it does not have a constant rate of change. So a line would be a linear function. A horizontal line would be a linear function. A vertical line, it's a line, but it's not a function because the x repeats. And if you have a curve, a curve could be a function, but it won't be linear because there's no constant rate of change.